Coming up in this episode of What's in Your Pocket, we're venturing into the heart of Louisiana to meet a distinguished guest, Tommy Carnline, Chief of Staff at the Rapides Parish Sheriff's Office and the esteemed member of the Louisiana Tactical Police Officer Association. But that's not all. Tommy brings with him a piece of history and honor, the 20th year LTPOA Warrior Spirit Challenge coin. Join us as we uncover the tales of bravery, camaraderie, and the unwavering spirit of those who serve and carry a special coin. Hey there, what's in your pocket? Challenge coins, can you rock it? Show them off, flip them high with a podcast that satisfies. Yeah, yeah. What's in your pocket? Oh, join the fun, don't you knock it? Help that we've been to this world. Challenge coin, let's unfurl. What's in your pocket? Oh, join the fun, don't you knock it? Help that we've been to this world. Challenge coin, let's unfurl. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of What's in Your Pocket. My guest today is Tommy Carnline from the Rapides Parish Sheriff's Office in Louisiana. He's the chief of staff and also part of the Louisiana Tactical Police Officers Association. Tommy, welcome to What's in Your Pocket. Thank you for having me, Keith. This is a, a really neat experience for me. This is my first ever podcast. So uh, <laughs> being 61 years old, I'm getting some uh, technology training today. So that's a good thing. Nice. Well, I've been designing coins and, and minting coins for Tommy since about, what, probably 2014 or, or so, yeah. maybe a little before that. Yeah. Yeah. And today we're going to look at some of his challenge coins and talk about the stories behind them. But before we jump into that, I want you to share um, a memory of your, do you remember getting your first challenge coin? Yes. Yes, I do. T tell um, us about that. Well, it was in 1997. Uh, I was actually detailed uh, from, I worked for the sheriff's office and I was in communications. I was detailed to the Secret Service for a presidential visit here in Alexandria, Louisiana. Okay. Uh, during that visit, um, I had heard of challenge coins a little bit, but didn't have one. Uh, don't think I'd ever been given one. And uh, during that visit, uh, I was actually given a counter assault team challenge coin by a gentleman who uh, was in charge of that team. And uh, that was just amazing, uh, the fact that he thought enough of me uh, and what we did and how we helped them to coin me with his coin. Uh, to this day, my United States Secret Service cat coin is one of my favorite challenge coins. And uh, it's not here in my office, it's at home. Uh, I have a bunch of them here in my office, but, uh, but that one is is one of my, I, I was actually my very first one. So, but yeah, okay. that was it. Challenge. How many, go ahead. How many do you think you have in your collection now? Oh, probably 90 to a hundred. Um, you know, all of them have a special meaning. Uh, you know, it's not just a, a trade here and there. Uh, you know, you, you get some that, that are just coins people, you know, give you for whatever reason, but some of them have a lot of special meaning. And, mm -hmm. uh, and that's what I think is most, important with a challenge coin uh, because, um, you know, originally when we, when we first got our challenge coin, we researched what the challenge coin was about. Uh, I had never understood or knew what it was. And we learned that during World War I, according to the story, uh, a very wealthy pilot had some coins made for his squadron. And when he was shot down, I believe it was in France. Uh, the Germans captured him, uh, stripped him of everything except that pouch that was around his neck because they thought it was something religious. They let him keep it. And whenever he escaped from them, the French found him. He was going to be executed from the story I was told. Uh, he showed them that coin, which had his squadron uh, picture on it, and explained to them that he was a pilot. And he was a friendly pilot. He was uh, with the Americans. And instead of executing him, they gave him food and drink and welcomed him uh, and got him back to, to his unit. Uh, don't know if that's the true story or not. That's the story that I was told. And I've always thought that was very special because by him uh, sharing that with those people saved his life. 
And when you give someone a coin, especially because we don't, you know, we're one of your smaller customers, I'm sure. We don't just give coins out willy nilly. You know, they have to mean something. Uh, when we have our conference, we give our instructors coins. Uh, of course, we sell some, but every instructor we try to give a coin to. I'm proud to say that uh, Paul Howe has one of our coins, former Delta operator. Uh, he was one of our instructors one time. Um, we've had a lot of, 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 of really cool people that have a, a LTPOA challenge coin somewhere in their collection. So Nice. Um the story that you heard was the same one that I heard back in early nineties. Now, follow up to that. I did um, grab a copy. Here. I did some research. I wrote a book over the summer called the coin that changed charity. And wow. it's basically my 30 year history of challenge coins. Um, let me look, I'm going to look here quick and see if yours is in here. I do know that your YouTube video has ours on there. Um, That's another Dick Kramer image right there. Yes, Dick that, Kramer. Sorry. Yeah. Very yep. cool. Yeah. Um, but in researching for my book, I wanted to include the origin also. And what I found, um, the overall consensus was while that's believed to be the origin, mm -hmm. there's no historical facts that ah, can trace okay. back to a specific squadron that would have fit uh, yeah. for that. But it's a good story. It still it resonates. People, you know, it's it's a story. Um yes. I'm looking through here quick to see because I just uh, the whole second half of the book is all just high res images. No, it's not in there. Um, no. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. But, um, so okay, so the your Secret Service coin was the first coin that you received, right? Yes, sir. Um, is that your favorite coin, or do you have another one that's your favorite? Mm, I have a Delta coin. Okay. Of that um, was given to me. That is probably my. Uh, that one means a lot, means a whole lot, but uh, favorite coin, I don't know. I think one of my favorite coins, I believe, is is one of the ones I got from the 9-11 Memorial, which okay. was uh, right after 2000, well, 2000, probably four or five, um, mm -hmm. and it has all the, the badges of all the agencies that were involved that day. Um that's a pretty favorite coin. Um, I think I have a, um, uh, a some uh, one of the. Oh, I cannot remember. I, forgive me. I cannot remember. There was a seal that was killed um, right right off the bat. Uh, he fell out of the helicopter. Um, oh, uh, um, you know who I'm talking about? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Neil Roberts. Is it Roberts? Roberts Ridge. I think it is Roberts. That's not who I was thinking I think of. It's right. I could be thinking of a different, but, uh, different. Anyway, I've got one of the coins uh, that they made in, in his memory. Uh, so I have a lot of coins that, that mean a lot. Um, uh, one of the other times we worked with the Secret Service, I got to get a, a White House communications coin, uh, which was good because that, that was kind of neat. Uh, one of their guys that was detailed to them was actually, I don't know if people know, but uh, Secret Service, uh, they have agents that are on protection, but they have a lot of other assets they bring in. And the guys that was running communications were actually with the Air Force. And this young man actually was from central Louisiana. So I got one of his coins. So, but, uh, yeah, these coins, they mean a lot. Um, and, you know, I, I just, um, especially to, to people like us, uh, law enforcement, military, firefighters, uh, things of that nature, you know, they mean a lot. And the ones that you carry, those are the ones that mean the most usually. Yeah. Okay. So let's jump into the coins that you're going to share with us today. But first, yeah. if you're watching, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when we release new episodes. Tommy, I got to ask you, what's yeah. in your pocket? All righty. Well, that's funny. Um, the first coin that I, or the first coin, or the coin that I've carried probably the longest, of course, my really nice coins I do not carry at all. Uh, but it has to mean something to me. And of course, my coin is the Louisiana Tactical Police Officers Association coin. Uh, this was an original coin that you did for us. Um, one of our founding board members, Henry Kuhn, uh, he was friends with Dick Kramer. And Dick Kramer, as everybody knows, was just 
a, a, a wonderful man, a huge, talented artist. A uh, matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, you're one of the only companies that he dealt with. The, on, the only company, yep. Okay, the well, only company that he's ever talking. allowed reproduced his artwork in a coin and form, I, yep. And I believe that's why we actually went with you in the beginning, because Dick allowed us to use one of his drawings at no charge, no charge whatsoever. And that was our very first coin. Of course, it had our insignia on the front and then uh, it had one of his drawings on the back. And uh, we added a little few things to it, but uh, that, that one I carry every day. As, um, so that, that is, is, a, is a tribute to Dick and to Henry Kuhn who got all this started. So um, the other one I carry um, is uh, one that my mother actually got me, and it is, uh, I'm looking down because I want to get it right. Um, it is put on the whole armor of God, and it's a really neat coin. I have no idea where it came from, but it means a lot to me that my mother gave me that one. So that's the other one, and I can show that if you need me to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show us both of them. Oh, uh, okay. Well, this, this, is the, this is the LTPOA coin. That's the original one. That is our original coin that you did. Yes, sir. That's our insignia. And then on the back, um, we have many teams, one mission, and we have our seven regions represented by stars. And we have one asterisk, of course, yep. every SWAT guy knows that. And then we have the Dick Kramer drawing of Showtime. That, yep. was, the, that was the one that Dick allowed us to have. We looked at a lot of them. He allowed us to choose whatever we wanted and showtime because everybody knows that's what you wait for. You may be waiting on a narcotics warrant for eight hours, but when they roll yep. in and say, let's go, it's yep. showtime. So, I've spent many a long days in the uh, police yeah, department on the team right. waiting, just waiting, waiting. Her, okay, her, yep. time to go. That's right. That's right. So that one is I carry every day. So that one is that one. Um, this one is the one that I told you that has the put on the whole armor of God. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. And it's a beautiful Nice coin. 3D uh, detail. Yes, sir, it is. And then on the back, it shows the armor. Um, you know, God makes warriors. I don't want to get off on a tangent here, but, you know, that's that's important to me. That's real important. Sure. So, Very nice. And then last but not least is my deputy sheriff coin that one of our people gave me. And uh, it's it's a pretty nice coin. And it talks about service, honor, and integrity. And it's got the deputy sheriff's creed on the back of it. And uh, Nice. That's that a dual-plated coin, gold and nickel. Well, okay, yeah. And um, it's uh, that that's what I carry every day. Um, like I say, it's it's these these mean things. What was on the back of that that one? Oh, uh, well, Last actually... One. It's uh, some writing that I can't read right now, but it talks oh, okay. about, um, I mean, it is so small. Oh, I need to go back. To, can I go back to my coin? Uh, LT sure, coin? yeah, yeah, yeah. One yeah. of the most important things that I forgot to mention, uh, the, the inscription at the top is something else that means a lot to us. It says, whom shall I send and who will go for me? And that's what God asked. Whom shall I send and who will go for me? Send me, I will go. So that means a lot. So. Very nice. I love the detail on that too. Just either that is the Kramer's. Uh, I'm going to show you. Here it is. So right before Dick passed away, I did a 15 coin series with him based wow. off of his top 15 works of art from his lifetime, right? Wow. Coin one in a series of 15 is the Eagle Globe and Anchor. That is his son, Steve, and yep. when he was a Marine. And that's yep. the most famous image in Marine Corps history. Um, wow. Dick Kramer has more art credits in the National Archives than any artist, um, past or present. That's and this is, uh, so this was coin number one in the series, 15 series. Uh, another one I liked, Coin 10, American Warrior. Yes. But like the 3D detail in, in, in like, so as an artist, like I've, I've, 
I've looked up to Dick Kramer, um, and Dick Kramer was was really instrumental in, in me switching career fields out of law enforcement into following my heart and, and art. Um, and I just mesmerized by his lifelike um, pencil portraits. I have a, an original Dick Kramer hanging on my wall. Yeah, that's a dead that one is called uh, Falu- That's Fallujah Warrior. Okay, Fallujah. Okay. And that one, that soldier, um, his buddy that took that picture, mm-hmm. moments moments after that picture was taken, lost both of his eyes and I believe um, an arm or a leg in a firefight. Mm-hmm. So, like, and to look at like. Dick drew that from a photograph that was taken literally seconds before shit that's hit the amazing. fan. Um, and it, and that's really, it, that's the story that that captures, you know? But right. to look at it from his beautiful use of negative space and the white paper around it and just the, the huge variation of tonal uh, differences from the, the, you know, the dark black to the pure white, is right. it, they're just beautiful. And I'm so thankful that I've had the... Um, the opportunity to to work with him and to meet him and to know him, learn from him. Um, when uh, so we did this series with him, right? Like Dick and Jenny picked out the fifteen of of his most popular works, and right. we decided what we were going to do for uh, the series. And then when the series was done, I wanted to take set zero 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 one of the full series down and present it to him. Wow. Uh, and we made a trip down to Virginia and, um, and that was in December. He passed away in January, uh, yes. the next month, but, um, it was in December that we got down there and literally like he was sitting in his chair and I was sitting <laughs> at his feet, you know, showing him all the stuff and talking about it. Yep. And, um, Jenny made a comment about sitting at the master's feet and it couldn't have been. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. But um yeah. It was it was good to be able to to meet him and to you know and for him to to I mean it meant the world to me for him to just he's yes. I'm trying to think how he said it exactly. He says, you know, he says I've seen a lot of coins, most of them junk. This is by far the most beautifully rendered coin that I've ever seen. Yeah. And it was of this one here, of the grunt. And then yeah. he kind of explained, uh, you know, said that that's a, um, an image of my son, Steve, when he was in the Marines and talked about Marines getting it on their arms or calves. And oh, he's, yes. he's in oh, Marines yes. with it on their whole back yes. um, in Beirut in the Marine um, command room on the wall was that image. You know, wow. it was all Dick Kramer's art. He's I've seen it on shot glasses and water bottles and everything. So, yeah. That so the, the, there's, there really is there there's a a, a great emotional connection with yes. um um with every coin that that every right. people have with them you know are you gonna yeah. do you have the um the LTPOA one you're gonna show oh uh, well no that was the first one that I carry now this is the one that you did for our 20 year anniversary oh yeah that's yeah that's the one I was thinking about <laughs> yeah that's one right there yes. And um, that one is really neat. I'm not sure if you, I think you did the drawing and the front, if I remember correctly, but I cannot remember. Uh, That's a guy, it's hard to kind of see, but that's a guy uh, looking down. He's pointing at an M4 with an eye. And that's, and he's, I believe he's got a gas mask or maybe just a helmet. But um, a helmet helmet and goggles. That was our 20 year anniversary coin. But on the back was something that we came up with. And if you can see it, and it's a warrior spirit. And it is a, yep, yeah, there you go. That's better. Uh, it is a, it is a Roman warrior that morphs into a SWAT operator. And uh, years ago, here's an, another little story. Uh, we had the privilege of having uh, one of our instructors was Steve Holland. Steve Holland was a fifth group uh, Green Beret, and uh, he was just an amazing guy, uh, amazing instructor, did a lot of things in the military. And he 
came up or he, he, and this is something I believe that they said, but he said strength and honor. And whenever he said that, we kind of adopted that. And we put that on that coin, as you saw, it says warrior spirit, strength and honor. And that again, that's what, that's what law enforcement does. You know, that's what, <clears throat> excuse me, military law enforcement. I got to get a drink real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll cover. I, I, cover I love the 3D detail that's on this. I get it. It's, it's just, it's a very tactile experience. Um, yeah. And it's one of my favorite antique copper coins. Just, yes. I like the way the look of it. I like the way the metal looks. I like the feel of it. And I uh, like that, you know, that it's it's team oriented. It, it's, yes. you know. Yes, definitely. And on That's the edge, awesome. what does it say? Doesn't uh, Dick Kramer? It, uh, it says there's a copyright. Um, yeah. Although this, this one that I have is kind of worn. Yeah, mine says Dick Kramer. Uh, is it 2017? Mine is 2018. Oh, 2018. Dick okay. Kramer, 2018. Copyright Dick Kramer. Okay. And um, and that's something we're very proud of too to carry on Dick's um, legacy. Mm -hmm. Like I said, uh, he would go visit our friend Henry uh, in New Orleans. Uh, Henry uh, is from New Orleans and from that area, and mm -hmm. um, that was a really neat thing that that you know we carried Dick Kramer with us every day, uh, and that's that's pretty cool. Um, so totally agree, totally yeah. on board with that. <laughs> yeah, he's an amazing. He was an amazing man, an amazing artist. Uh, that, like you said, he could capture the essence of the fo the the, the, of drawing. the moment. And yeah. then it was amazing how you could transfer that to the coin. Um, you see some coins, and they're kind of just thrown together, not trashing anybody else's coin. But um, we like what we got when we started. And that's why we're, we're we're still you know buying coins from you. So, I've, I I I would my my worst day scenario ever <laughs> would be if I had to walk around the Pentagon and look at general coins because I know every single one's going to be the same. It's going to be the DoD emblem on one side and one two right. three or four stars on the other side, right. and there's not going to really variate much from that. Well, um, and those are the coins that end up in the Ziploc. You know, <laughs> I, I've got a few of those coins. Uh, beware of the guy that just walks into a room and starts handing out coins. Uh, <laughs> cherish the guy that looks at you in your eye, shakes your hand, and coins you without anybody knowing. And yep. that that's important uh, because they're telling you how much they appreciate what you've done. And, uh, and I learned that from those cat team guys in uh, 1997. And uh, that, was, that was pretty special. So. You have uh, in the military, you know, if somebody finds out there's a general coming on base, everybody wants the general's coin. Everybody's trying to get in front of the general to, you know, be noticed. Yeah. So they try to get a coin, you know, and same thing that that it's that connection, that desire to belong or, you know, it's it's pride. It's belonging. Right. Um, the the LTPOA ones yes. are are special because it's a unique group of individuals that all work yeah. together with a similar background. They understand each other. There's that, that, that brotherhood, sisterhood, the, the camaraderie. Oh, yeah. Um, and really, yeah. And like you can pick up this coin 20 years from now and it's, it, it's like a time vault of, of memories, right. Or, or exactly. experiences that you yep. Oh, I remember, you know, I have coins that I got on different deployments when I, when I was in. And I, when I look at that, Oh yeah, I remember this was going on and that was going on, or right. there's just something with every single one. Um, everything from like, here's, here's an air force fighter pilot one that we do. Oh, that's this cool. Is a really, this is a black nickel coin. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, F 35 unit. I believe. That is cool. Now, um, something we, uh, we have stayed, no, again, I'm not trashing anybody's coins, sure. but, uh, you know, you remember when the poker chip deal came out? Um, yeah. Poker chip's are, not a challenge coin. Those are neat, but no, no, it's, um, uh, poker it's, chip. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's not, not the same. And, um, you know, the way you, you don't have the way it's the weight that you miss and that, that texture, the feel, you know? Yeah. 
I if you had a it. stack of the chips and you were playing with them at a card game or something, you know, right. that then they yeah. would feel nice. Yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah, it just doesn't have the same tactile experience as no. you know, like right. There you go. It's for like a one of those companies oh, that does the uh I can't think what they're called. But I, uh, one of my lieutenants brought this one to me yesterday. Um, and this is uh, a gentleman that has uh, ivory tower. He is a motivational speaker, I think. Uh, okay. And I cannot remember. Wait a minute. I can't remember his name. Thomas Rizzo. Thomas okay. Rizzo. And uh, this is a very pretty coin. Um, it's large. I'm not a real big fan of the larger coins. I like the, the smaller ones, but mm -hmm. the detail there is, is pretty cool. So uh, that one was given to me yesterday. And again, um, on the front, you see that there's that, 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 that yep. ward. So that, that's pretty cool. But that's nice. the, the large ones I'm not real big on. I, I like the smaller. And I, yeah. Ones that are like. That? What size is this? Uh, that's uh, two inch, I think, for that one. Two inch or, no, I'm sorry. What? 1.75. This is okay. 1.75. The other this one I think may have been 1.5. My original coin is probably a 1.5. Oh yeah, 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 yes, a yep. Little, little smaller, so yeah, uh, that's the size that, that we like personally. So, well, that was awesome, man. Well, thank you so much for sharing those stories. You have any other any other great stories you want to share? Um, no, no. I mean, you know, we've seen that the. the uh, Coins that, that they make bottle openers, you know, th those are neat. Again, they're neat. Not challenge coins, but it's bottle not, openers. <laughs> it's not a coin. Yeah, uh, it's cool, uh, and but it's just it's not a coin. And uh, again, when you have that coin, uh, when it's given to you, uh, especially for for something that you're being appreciated for, or um, that judge that just means a lot to us. Yeah. It means a lot. So, and. Uh, you know, I encourage people to, you know, if you want to get into this or or do this, it, it's pretty cool to, to pull out your coin and knock on a bar or a table one day and see who all whips out coins. And hopefully you <laughs> won't have to buy everybody something to, to drink or eat. So, but, uh, but yeah, that's that's about it, man. Uh, I just appreciate you. I appreciate your guidance. Uh, when we first started this, you know, we didn't know what we were doing and this coin has met the measure of time. Uh, again, I carry it every day, and it's in pretty doggone good shape. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, that that's, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> Mine are all, uh, like, so I carry two with me, right? And, and the two that I carry are um, my smartphone card trick, which was the magic trick that I developed in 2015. This right. coin has a, a little pin that sticks out there right in the center. Yeah. And what that does, so if you lay it on a flat, you can spin this like a top. And it'll it'll oh. spin on that pin. That's why I put that on there. That's so I carry this one, but then I carry my new smart coin, which I have a sample one programmed for, I use this one for the Children's Brickle Network. But because I carry them together, the center part of this one, the paint is all right. picked out of the center because I keep them together like that. And it just, right. that little pin just slowly rubs at it in there it's still my two coins that i carry every day in my pocket you know exactly helps keep me focused on on what i'm trying to do and tommy i appreciate you taking time to speak with me i appreciate your Man. your long time business and um thank you for sharing your story on what's in your pocket my pleasure looking forward to getting our our, our new coins in it's very shortly our conference is in may so yep yep thank you brother all right, buddy. Thanks. Bring Take care. Honor, brother. Yes, sir. Great water ops.